Now, some people have also argued that, uh, you know, what's the haste? I mean, they believe that it's too soon to declare IPOP a terrorist organization. Some people believe that dialogue should have been employed more uh, in engaging these groups, uh, this particular group. But uh, the IPOP itself um, has clearly indicated they are not interested in dialogue. You know that uh, in the run-up of these uh, you know, processes, the governors of the states in the region had put up a forum. IPOP said, no, thank you, we are not interested. The senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria set up a delegation and they said, IPOP, we want to speak to you. And the one said, no, thank you, we don't want to talk to you. That was not the impression we got. We saw quite a number of meetings being held with IPOP leader Namdi Kanu. And, Initially, yes. And governors of the southeast. Initially, yes. Well, it's clear that the guy had himself uh, sh sh shut the whole, everyone out of the process. Which and was truncated after the federal government, uh, you know, after the military, because we're not very sure now. When we, when we say the federal government deployed troops, there will be the argument as to, no, the federal government did not deploy troops. It was a military exercise going on. Okay, assuming I leave it at that and I concede to you, what more did, did anybody needed to see coming from IPOV to act? When they had declared a territory, they had you know, made open, clear a threat to seize neighboring states. They have printed passports, they have printed currency, and they are taxing people illegally. Do they we have, have that? I mean, they had printed oh, passports and currency? Exactly. And they are charging, they are taxing money by force. So what else do you need to, 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 to act? I think they had laid themselves you know, out there for this sort of thing to follow.